I knew today was going to be a good day. I just knew it. I woke up on the right side of bed and I had a great attitude and I supernaturally thrifted something awesome. <laughs> Can you even believe it? Look how big it is. You couldn't tell in that little thumbnail picture, but this guy is a beast. The color on this could not be more perfect for the way that I'm redecorating my living room right now. These Greek style horses were so popular back in the 60s and 70s, and I've never seen one with the green on it. It's got a signature here on the bottom. It looks like SW and it's signed 1968. I was walking to the cash register, kind of just meh about my finds. I mean, I found some cool things that I'm still excited about, but I was almost to the cash register and I saw this little area where they had a display and down on the bottom, this baby was right there. He literally took my breath away. Nothing makes me more excited than finding a beautiful vintage piece that I've always been on the hunt for. I love him. He's almost as exciting as my Lisa Larson cat for comparison, just so you guys know how genuinely thrilled I am right now. This is the best start to the day ever, ever. I probably shouldn't have started out with him because now I'm gonna be a little bit less excited about everything else, but I really like this dress. It has kind of that 1920s, 1930s dropped waistline. Obviously the style of it is nothing like that. It almost looks like a uniform, but some reason I have a feeling that this could be really cute. So I'm gonna try it on, hopefully it fits. If not, I'll pop it in my shop sale. This coat was $24.99, which is quite a bit for Goodwill. That's about as expensive as it gets typically with their winter coats, but this one is so soft and I'm sad you guys can't understand how soft it is. I mean, it feels almost as soft as cashmere. It's got these beautiful covered matching buttons. This is a very classic style. And the selling point for me, besides the fact that it is the perfect size for me, 
was when I saw the label inside. So I know it's gonna be good quality. It was made here in Portland, Oregon. I haven't done any research yet, so I don't know if this RM Gray is the brand or if that was the person who owned the coat. Cause there's a PE here. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a little bit of research on this and I will update you guys and show you guys how I style this look. I am a huge fan of wearing all black and if that dress fits me, it might even look cute to mix it with this coat and some black boots. Every time I film an episode, I have to come up with a name so that I can upload all of my images and my files to the same folder. And so since I go to Goodwills all the time, I'm always having to come up with different names. I'm gonna name today the Day of Critters. I'm really drawn to these bohemian animals made in India. A lot of times they have the little shisha mirrors on it. This one doesn't, um, but I found bulls before. I found camels. They are so beautiful and I feel like they add that very vibrant pop of color when you're decorating with them. Funny story about this one. The other day I just passed up this beautiful brass mid-century decanter holder and I passed it up at a Goodwill in my area because I couldn't find the decanter that went with it there or the shot glasses that went on the side but I am almost positive that this would fit perfectly in it. So I am going to go back to that Goodwill and see if it's still there. This piece is really beautiful. Look at all that hand painting detail. It's kind of unique, a little bit abstract, and I'm pretty confident that this is a Japanese piece, but I am going to do a little bit of research because there's no stamps on here. I'm not sure if this is Japanese or not, but I will spend probably a long time on Google trying to find out. This piece is really interesting. I don't know how old it is. Some reason it's looking a little bit new to me, but look at this incredible work right here. They shaved up the wood with a knife, I'm assuming, made little slits here. He's a fun one. So it goes without saying that this is going to be in my personal collection forever, but the rest of these little goodies are going to be coming to one of my next shop sales. And for those of you who are new here, I list new items the first Friday of every single month on my online shop. Now for the reason that I came to Scapoos today, I'm going to go see Jason at Jason's Jewelry and More Antiques. I met him in Vernonia when I was out visiting Lucky Dog Vintage and he invited me to come check out his store. So we're headed there now. I found some really great jewelry pieces at Jason's, but I have to tell you, surprisingly, my favorite find there was actually the 1920s Delftware vase. These are incredibly hard to find in such good condition. This is a Gouda Delftware vase made in Holland in the 1920s, and the coloring on it is just magnificent. The other piece that was really special was the locket. I thought that was so cool, and it really reminded me of the Harry Potter golden snitch. I know, I'm a nerd, and I'm totally at peace with that. But that was the first thing that I thought of when I saw it. When I opened it up and it unfolded with six locket spaces, that was pretty cool. I'm one of six children and I'm really close to all of my siblings and I love them all dearly. So I actually considered for a moment keeping that for myself and putting one of each of us kids in there. In fact, that would have been a cute gift to my parents. Darn it, why did I sell that? 
I've had a really good month finding some cool, unique, modernist jewelry pieces. So that was really neat that I was able to pick up a couple from Jason. And stay tuned to the end of the video because I've got some other really exciting pieces that are coming to my next sale. Although I only got the one base at that stop, I only paid $5 for it and I thought that round donut shape was really awesome. And I would give this tip to anybody who's on a really tight budget or anyone who's even into minimalism. If you're going to only have one or two pieces that you're spending your money on, find something that has a really cool shape to it and a really cool pattern because I feel like that's a way that you can make a quick, easy statement with one or two pieces. You guys, I was able to do some research on this coat and I found out that it did belong to Edna Gray and the coat was made in the 1960s and it fits me perfectly. I can't believe how good of condition it is. I feel like this is such a classic coat that I can have forever and I had a lot of fun styling it up today. So I mixed this with a vintage thrifted scarf. My friend gave this to me and it was only $1 and it's got these beautiful Tibetan tigers on it. And I mixed it with some kind of fun tights and my favorite black lace-up fry boots that I got on Poshmark for 75% off of retail. I also wanted to show you one of my favorite thrifted handbags that I think would look so good and classic with this coat. This was a Goodwill find and I think I paid $4.99 for it. And originally I thought it was a vintage Valentino because it has that V right there and it does appear to be really good quality. Look at this fun design in it. The sticker inside does say Valentino, but it says Harvard Valentino. And even though it's genuine leather and made in Italy, I'm pretty sure this isn't the Valentino. But if you know anything about vintage Valentino bags, please let me know in the comments below what you think of this one. And now I need your guys' help because all of my creators have a name. I have no idea what to name this guy. Guy. He is so fantastic. I guess he's a he because I keep calling him he and he needs a name. I was thinking maybe something Greek since he's a Greek horse. I recently reached out to you guys on Instagram for help naming my Lisa Larson polar bear. That was from my sweet friend, Roger. Thank you so much, Roger. He's gonna be cherished forever. Someone commented that Martimus is the scientific name for polar bears and I thought that was so perfect. So everybody meet Martimus. I'm gonna call him Marty for short. But this dude needs a name and I need some help. Do you tend to get more excited about something that's gonna be a forever piece in your home? Or do you get more excited about something valuable that you're going to resell? Because even though that Holland vase is the most valuable find that I found today, I am by far the most excited about this guy. I really wish you could put pictures in the YouTube comments below. So unfortunate, YouTube, you need to fix that. So instead, if you guys wanna go onto Instagram and tag me at Left Coast Revivals in your best finds this week, I really wanna see what you guys have been finding and make sure to put what state or city you're in so we kind of have an idea as we all look through them and see you know what's being found all across the world i think that would be so much fun so i'll see you guys on instagram later this weekend and i will see you guys in two picking adventures next week not one i've got two for you bye guys
Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you want to shop my vintage finds, I list my brand new vintage the first Friday of every single month on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at leftcoastrevivals. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I know it's cheesy, but it helps my channel a lot and I am super grateful for all the support. I will see you guys in a brand new adventure next week.